Scorpio, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading for you. Whenever you're drawn to the uh, title or the video is when it's for you. In a particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an uh, extended reading where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your eighth house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support. The easiest way to support the channel is via the likes, the shares, subscribes, comments. Uh, it does wonders for the growth. It's uh, very much appreciated. Uh, thank you also to the Patreon members. Uh, you guys um, uh, continue to uh, be supportive and it's very much appreciated. And um, all those who purchase private reads as well as the extendeds, big thank you to you guys as well. That's obviously keeps me able to do um, these free readings on, on YouTube. So... Thank you. Uh, description box has all the information you need. Um, be aware, actually, on Instagram, there is a couple of uh, people impersonating me, sending messages to um, uh, to people asking for donations as well as um, uh, private reads. That is not me. I only have one um, Instagram handle for uh, for the tarot, and it's Gareth Hudson Tarot 888. Nothing else, no extra numbers, no added uh, symbols and full stops, just that. I will never ever contact you. The only way to book a private read is via my website. No other way. Okay, so be safe, stay vigilant. Okay, so cross watchers, you are more than welcome. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Five of Wands spinning up there. Okay, I'm hearing. Um, um, Oh God, brush up on my Spanish. Um, Canción del Mariachi, uh, the Desperado song, um, Antonio Banderas. Um, so I kind of feel like you're feeling complete because there's a, uh, my Spanish is rusty, but there's something in the lines of, um, like he doesn't need, doesn't need the man, doesn't need a woman, doesn't need love. Uh, and please don't get caught up in genders. Um, so you might be feeling quite complete. Let's see, two more. Yes, you do. Complete. The Empress, full of abundance. Fantastic. Yeah, I could just end it right there. <laughs> yeah, if you're feeling... Um, like you can take on the world yourself, fantastic. Something we're aware of, something we're not aware of. Recent past, advice, potential outcome. Okay, strength, the wheel of fortune, the knight of cups, king of wands, ten of cups, page of cups, queen of cups. Interesting. Yeah, I kind of feel like you're just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Something's coming back around. There could be a person that's made their mind up about you. Um, something from the past that was disappointing caused a lot of anxiety. Um, but they've kind of... They've had some sort of realisation. However, I feel like that song's playing in my head again. It's like um, you don't, you don't need the money. You don't need the man or woman. Or um, there's a feeling of completeness within yourself because you've gone through troubles. You've gone through um, trying times. The wheel brings around these things and makes you stronger every time. But somebody's bringing something around. Uh, it could be somebody in that would there was a. Um, uh, a real magnetic, passionate connection, possibly. Um, could have felt like the Ten of Cups energy, but there might have been a discrepancy in vibration. So we've got a page next to a queen here. Um, with it being the Knight of Cups, they may have matured um, from a page to a knight, However, I kind of feel like 
you might have closed the cycle here, if I'm honest. Obviously, it's going to be different for all of you. Um, but I kind of feel like someone's had a realisation about you. Um, and potentially coming forward. So we've got the Empress. What we're aware of is the Nine of Swords. There's been anxious times in the past. Um, but it's all created who you are today. And that is strength from the Empress. Somebody very, very, very... Um, abundant and very, very strong. Again, please don't, do not get caught up in uh, genders. We all have the masculine and feminine within us. But you've you've overcome obstacles. You've overcome um, possible dark night of the soul. Um, and it's all part of the process. It's all part of the ascension judgment. You've done the dark night of the soul. You've faced your demons. You've uh, you've let your light meet the dark. Uh, and that's only, the only time we can complete ourselves when we're really open to actually looking at the uh, the shadow aspect of ourselves in the recent past we have the five of cups so this is disappointment this is sadness this is a lot of anxiety and sadness with five of cups and the nine of swords here um again i kind of feel like this could be the person in question that has had some form of realization the nine of swords and the five of cups obviously this person potentially was troubled or caused a lot of trouble <laughs> take it as it uh, as it resonates with you uh, your advice is the high priestess trust your intuition you're in a, in a powerful energy of magnetism at the moment where i almost feel like you can think something and manifest it high priestess is very powerful trust your intuition in regards to whatever this situation is if you feel like um this person has changed, fair enough. If you don't, again, fair enough. Just trust whatever comes to you. And trust your first intuition as well. Don't second guess and question yourself. Whatever your first instinct is, is will be tend to be the right one. Uh, your outcome is the Ten of Wands. And this is where I kind of feel like this is you being complete with yourself. There's, you know... Again, uh, in Mariachi, he's, all he wants is his horse. I mean, I know it's not a horse, but uh, use your imagination. Um, he's got his guitar and he's got his horse, which is kind of what I'm seeing here. You've you've got everything you need. Whatever this is, can it add to your life? Possibly. Fantastic. Can it take away? Possibly. Unfortunate. So do trust your intuition completely here. Um, because you're on a, I almost feel like you're on a set path here of um, of of wanting to uh, to march forward. I want to look at the four of wands. I just it's this um, image I'm getting of the mariachi dancers and singing and and having fun. Yeah, okay, definitely. Just have fun is the message. Okay. Uh, the full and the page of ones. Find that childlike innocence within you again. If you see some swings, I don't care if you're in your 50s, 60s, 20s, 30s, jump on the swing. If um, if you fancy that ice cream, get that ice cream. There's, there's something about connecting with your inner child and just having fun. Don't let situations of the past or past people and bring you down um because i love your energy at the moment this the energy surrounding you not so good but your energy is fantastic and uh, just be aware be aware of the people around you as well so i'm kind of seeing that um what is that meme where it says um um if you and interesting actually because this is a card of confidence if you if you hang around five people that who are confident you will be the six if you hang around five intelligent people, you will be the six. If you found um, five millionaires, you will be the six. If you hang around five idiots, you will be the six. Uh, so the moral of the story is, you know, who are you hanging around with? Um, so I kind of feel like the negative energy that's in your environment is not you, it's in your environment. Uh, so just be very, very mindful of who you share your energy with. But other than that, Scorpio, you don't need nobody. <laughs> okay, right. In your extended, we'll look at the positives coming in, uh, the negatives to watch out for, as well as your advice next steps. 
and uh, we'll see what comes up. But other than that, I would say keep doing what you're doing and continue trusting that intuition because it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay. So uh, if you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. Um, we have Taurus, Libra. We have uh, Gemini. We have you guys and Libra. Strong Libra here. Uh, Scorpio again. Strong you guys. Strong Libra. Cancer, Pisces. Um, Saturn in Sagittarius. Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Jupiter in Pisces, Moon in Libra, Mercury in Aquarius. But we've got cups, we've got wands, we've got swords, and it takes us it takes us a while until we get to uh, the Pentacles because you don't need you don't need the money. You've got uh, you're just feeling abundant as is. And if money is not good at the moment, just continue feeling abundant because you're gonna draw it in. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, look after yourself, Scorpio, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.